let's jump into it virgos what's up virgo somebody birthday is september 9th or september 9th overall could be significant i'm back thank you guys for watching my channel she's got the gift virgo i'm back with messages for you please take what resonates though and leave the rest right on where it's at this is not a personal reading virgos it is a collective i always encourage you guys to watch the collective read first before you jump into these messages over here okay um but if you guys are seeking the personal because this is a collective some may resonate with it, some may not. If you are seeking a personal reading, feel free to stop by and check out my website. It'll be linked down below in this video in the description box. And also, if you're interested in seeing more content from me, you're always welcome over on Patreon. All that info will be linked down below as well. Let's jump into your messages, Virgos. Spirit, holy angels, I call upon that this time for the sign of Virgo, sun, moon, rise, and Venus placement. Allow me to tap in, spirit angels. Thank you for using me as a vessel. I'm grateful. Please continue to protect me, protect Virgos, protect our family and our foundation. Allow no weapon that's being formed to come against us to ever prosper. Return to sender all that black magic, evil entity, spell work being sent our way. First, return it to sender. Let's jump into it. Messages for Virgos. Slow down. I just want to get to know you. But don't turn around, cause that pretty little thing looks good to me. Messages for Virgos. Oh, baby, you know right now that I want you. Ooh, -wee. Uh, you got nail salon venting, talking about your success. Somebody got what you do, how you do it, when you do it, and where you do it in their mouth. Talking about it to other people, okay? Should I stay or should I go is coming up. A couple of you guys are wondering if it's, you're doing the right thing. Or somebody in your energy is wondering if they're doing the right thing when it's pertaining to you. Show me more. Check yourself. I don't really want to stay. Can we get it together? Can we get it? Yeah, that's my shit. <laughs> Ooh -wee, you got putting on the show. So some of you guys could have, um, I was about to say Scorpio. Some of you guys could have Aquarius in your chart. A couple of y'all ain't sleeping. Y'all need to get some rest. It could have something to do with Pisces. And this back and forth communication here that's going on. Oh, we all right. Chill vibes at the bottom of the deck. Uh, it's just some things, Virgo, that some things are out of your control. So you have to take the back seat sometimes. You know, and allow things to play out the way it's going to play out. Don't overthink it, okay? Don't let too many people in your business. Uh, if anything, pray. Pray to whoever you pray to. Meditate, work out, get your head right, your mind space right here, and allow shit to play out the way it's supposed to play out. Who is this that got Virgo name in their mouth? Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Three of Cups. Who we? mm, 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 mm. mm. I keep seeing a high priestess. Some of y'all dealing with a Pisces. Some of y'all dealing with a, a, a practitioner. Somebody who, you know. Mm. All right. Show me more spirit angels. Who is this that's doing all this talking? Who is this that's doing all this talking, spirit angels, for Virgos? Three of Cups. I knew that was coming out. I knew it. This could be a water sign. Cancer Pisces here are Scorpios. This could be siblings too. Or somebody you grew up with. A friend. It's a friend of me, Virgo. Yep. The sun card showing, showing up. Um, they, they talking about some sort of exposure or what's coming to light or what's coming out. Mm -hmm. Show me more. Leo energy is here. This could have something to do about a baby too. Show me more. Ooh -wee. King of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Mm, two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is something a couple of you guys just don't want to deal with. Y'all trying to wash your hands of something, but I just feel like they're talking about how you get your money. Uh, for a couple of you guys, this is not a bad talk. Like, whoever this is that's running their mouth about you, it's not bad. It got something to do with uh, some sort of exposure here coming out. 
This could have something to do with the Pisces, with this King of Cups here, Three of Cups here, or Cancer. One more on the sun. Insight on the sun. The Ten of Wands. Okay. So you they saying you're having a hard time. With what? Ace of Swords, damn. Page of Pentacles. Starting something back up, getting something off the ground. I feel like this is how you get money, uh, Virgo. They could be like uh, talking about this. I feel like that's what they're talking about more than anything. Show me one more on this Three of Cups. Insight on this. Who is this? This could be somebody you chill with. Somebody you, um, look, you got the Two of Cups here showing up. Six of Swords. So somebody that you split from. A connection that you're walking away from. Or whoever walked away from you, that's what's being talked about. They saying you having a hard time letting something go. But I feel like you're determined to do it though. One on the King of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this could this got something to do with you do for work. I don't know who you partnering up with and Whoever this is that's running their mouth, but they talking a little bit too much here, okay? And I feel like some of the shit you can't believe because one minute they're saying you're having a hard time, the next minute they're saying you're on your grind. Uh, somebody is saying that you got to start over here. It's like you having to start over on something. Something that you worked hard for, though, or something that you've been doing with this Eight of Pentacles here. One more. Four of Pentacles. Damn. Some sort of money. Mm. Seven of Wands. Ooh, wait. Somebody play a dirty game here, boy. I don't know if something was taken from you and you trying to, like, fight to get it back. But that's what's being talked about. It's like something you worked hard for. I don't know if it came up missing or whatever this is here, but they it's like it's being talked about. You trying to get it back. Truth is coming out. What is, should I stay? What is this about? Knight of Swords here and the Seven of Pentacles. Something that you've been working on. Something that you've been in for a long time here. Knight of Swords with the Seven of Pentacles. It's like, is it either? Is it even worth fighting for? Like Seven of Cups. There's too many illusions. You got Seven, Seven, Seven out here. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Damn. This your counterpart. This your person. Yeah. You trying to like... Temperance, everything is on hold. Like everything is at a standstill. Like it takes patience, it takes time. Maybe a couple of you guys are separated from a certain person here. But they saying don't worry about it and divine time and everything. Whatever is happening right now, Virgo, is meant to happen. Look, Ace of Cups showing up down. Um, divine time and whatever is happening, whatever's going on in your life, you can't do nothing about it. You can't allow it to play out. The devil is toxic anyway. Couple of y'all dealing with a Capricorn. You got Sagittarius energy out here, Capricorn energy out here, Pisces energy out here, Aquarius energy. I don't really wanna stay. Can we get it together? Mm, okay. Why is check yourself here? King of Pentacles, yo energy. Okay, show me more. Hanged man. Two of swords. There's something here that you don't want to deal with. Are you just trying to wrap in a decision? Okay. So you got a decision to make. Should you stay or should you go? Is it worth it? At the end of it all, do the good outweighs the bad. This is what they're talking about right here. 
Queen of Swords here, Ten of Swords. Damn, I feel like somebody want their lick back. I feel like somebody here is doing up some fucked up shit to get up under somebody's skin. Who is this, Spirit Angels? You got putting on a show here, Virgo. So, mm -hmm. Who is this? Putting on a show for Virgo. The Wheel of Fortune here and the Hierophant. Damn, this could have something to do with court. But this is karma, though. Somebody here is like a master manipulator, yep. They are. Somebody is lying in some old shit. Six of Pentacles here, Eight of Swords, yeah. Somebody here is like lying. Whoever this is that's putting on a show, they lying to people. They stressed out. You've been dealing with this person for a while. Six of Cups, go watch the collective read. If I do decide to put this on Patreon, you can watch the collective read and get the rest of these messages um, from YouTube, okay? But if I do put it on YouTube, just go watch the collective read. Uh, you got death here showing up. Yeah, there's like an ending here, okay? There's a transformation going on, taking place within you here, Virgo. There's a lot on your mind. You don't know if you should like really, really throw it away this time or should I really stay here and figure it out? They telling you though to check yourself with the King of Pentacles here showing up, the Hanged Man, the Two of Swords here and the Two of Wands. They don't want you to like, your angels don't want you to like get stuck in a position or go through the same shit that you've been through, okay? Because it's clear this is a toxic situation. Something been going on for a very long time here. Karma is at play. Somebody is a manipulator. You got court here in the situation or whatever this is. It's like shit is all coming out and everybody is talking about it and everybody is in your business. What's the outcome of this, Spirit Angels for Virgos? Wow. Empress here. Mm -hmm. Feminine energy. The Tower Scorpio energy is here. Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Ooh, my goodness, Virgo. What you got going on over here? Three of Swords. Ooh -wee. Somebody could be pregnant. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Heavy on the Taurus for a couple of y'all. The outcome, though, is an ending. It's a karmic cycle finally coming to an end. Okay. There could be a baby out this whole situation. Page of Cups here. The Empress. Page of Pentacles. I just, I don't know if they trying to like get you to see that some shit is blowing up. Like something is definitely about to hit the fan. I don't know what this is about. They saying that people here is talking about you and you having to start over or what you did with some sort of like money or something like that here. There's a person that's behind you, but they're being manipulative about the situation. And they, they lying, they going around talking, but they lying. They not telling the truth. Advice for Virgos. Ace of Pentacles, you will start new. Ace of Pentacles here, the lovers and the nine of cups. Yeah, they telling you don't make the same mistake you made, okay? They telling you to don't overdo it, don't overindulge. And be careful, because you got the Ace of Pentacles here showing up. Be careful, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. Overall, I feel like you will be back on top no matter what happened, okay? You will get what you deserve. You will get that come up that you're looking for. Don't overdo it when you do get it. And make sure that you're not putting yourself or planting yourself. Make sure that you're not putting yourself in the same predicament that you got out of, if I'm making sense. Okay? I love you, Virgos. I'm leaving it there. I hope this helped you, babe. If it did, please don't forget to hit the like, the comment, and subscribe button. Until next time, y'all. Peace.